This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. Today I'm joined by Sam and Cass, and today we are going to be playing Wild Ascent by Lazy Squire Games. Mm. Yes, yeah, so this is a campaign skirmish game. It has a, an arena mode, which is competitive, uh, so you can fight against your friends. But today we're going to be playing the campaign, maybe just a few seasons of it, and that's for one to four players, so that is cooperative. And uh, we'll see how many beasties we can capture. Yeah, should point out this is a prototype game that Lazy Squire were kind enough to send to us. Yeah, having said that, yeah. some of the miniatures are absolutely well, stunning. Well, most of the miniatures yeah, are stunning. Yeah. yeah, They were the standout thing when, when, to me when this game arrived. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very true. I have enough of this. Yeah, that Phoenix, pretty boss. Pretty yeah. boss. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that is the only miniature we will ever show of all the great miniatures. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're fantastic, well sculpted. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's find out how to kill them. The game is split into two phases, the encounter board, which is this one here, and then the encampment phase, where we will take resources and monsters uh, captured and earned respectively into the encampment to sell them and to make equipment and hire workers, that sort of thing. But on the uh, encounter board here, we are going up against four monsters, our four seekers here. So they are arranged in particular order. They've uh, encountered each other. So we have our seekers lined in a row here against all our monsters. Yeah. Why don't we introduce who each of our seekers are? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, for yourself, what is the name of your guy? Yeah. Well, I am Berline the Dwarf. Berline the Dwarf. Yeah. So he's uh, I've a been magic. to Berlin. It's a very nice place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is a magic character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, either magic or gadgets, and they're, they're all about fire, spewing fire. John's done a very nice little bit of source lighting to show that off on the model. Yeah, there. exactly. Cass, who are you playing as uh, here? It's Elithina. Elithina. I think I've got the pronunciation right. I think so too. She's cool. She's a she's a good range character. Range character, uh, lovely in blue. And she's got a couple of crossbows there because uh, nothing says dangerous like two crossbows. Well, this is it. I <laughs> yeah. mean, you got two hands, why not have two crossbows? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I will be playing the other two characters because you have to have uh, all four seekers being played at the same time. So I have uh, Fanny here. Uh, she is another ranged character. Uh, try to control yourself there, Cass. <laughs> I uh, didn't say a word. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> uh, you just show your fanny off on uh, camera. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> He's been warned about this. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> Not once. She's a ranged character with a spear, uh, so she'll do a bit of damage from far away. And then my last character, I believe she was here, my last character is Zaxos, who looks super happy to be anywhere. He's a, me <laughs> he's a melee character, a bit of a barbarian, uh, and he's got a shield, which probably has a skull on it there, and uh, a mace. So there we go, that's our characters. Good figurines. Yeah, yeah, yeah beautiful minis. This would be great for just a du even a dungeon crawl outside of the main game. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we have a particular scenario set up here for our encounter as per our scouting for the first. We're in the first season here and then we'll do, out of uh, 10 seasons, we'll maybe do two. You can come back to this game, there are save game sheets, but we'll do maybe the first two seasons and see how we go. Great. All right, so in the first turn, the Seekers activate and we can choose which one of us activates first and we only get to activate one Seeker per, uh, as in, each seeker can only activate once per round. Okay. So who thinks they should have a pop at somebody first? I mean, there's a my burb. I can see my burb. From you can, where I am. can see your burb. Okay. My burb. Yeah. So uh, Ilithena here has clear line of sight on the phoenix, but you're not in range quite yet. No, not quite there. What's your range there? Uh, my range is three. Okay. So you said each seeker can only be activated one. How many actions can a seeker take in their turn? Uh, so on their turn, a seeker moves and then they do their action, one action. So, and if they move a little and then have their action, the rest of their uh, movement is spent. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you have to, you know, uh, align yourself, yourself carefully. Okay. 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 So what are you going to do, Cass? Uh, I think I. I'll move, okay. um, but there are two covers here. Mm -hmm. There's full cover and there's a partial cover. Indeed. So if you're adjacent to a partial cover, this one here, and I'll just show it off 
on here. You get plus one to your defense if you're attacked. Uh, however, this full cover here is different in that uh, it blocks line of sight entirely. So you don't get any defensive bonuses, but you do uh, potentially yeah, if you can hide behind it. Yeah. So that's quite useful. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think I shall move. Yeah, so I'm going to move the, because I have a movement of four. Mm -hmm. So I'll mm -hmm. go. Mm, oh, sorry, I, those were there. <laughs> that was it, yeah. No, they, I'm no, fairly certain. No, they weren't. They, no, they, were, they were where they were. They were there, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, you right. were so there. So I think yeah. I'll go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Because I can move sideways, but one of the movements is a rotation if I wanted to turn. Indeed. So but I don't need to turn. Indeed. So uh, in Wild Ascent, your movement and your rotation is actually incredibly important, the, the direction you're facing. So uh, if I bring it up here, Zaxos is facing this direction here. This tile here, if he is attacked through that tile, mm. then he takes plus two damage. But his line of sight are these front three. So he has to spend a movement if he wants to rotate and attack anything this side here. So we'll keep him facing straight on there against anybody. So what are you going to do with the Lathena there? Uh, yeah, so I've done my movement. I think I will attack my, my burb. Mm -hmm. um, and by burb you mean phoenix. 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 Burb. Yeah. Fire burb. <laughs> we're back to we're back to horses and, <laughs> and yes. horses and horses birds. And the birds. first game yeah. I ever played. Mm. Uh, so I think my range is fine. My mm -hmm. range of three uh -huh. should hit yeah. her. Um, so I roll five dice because mm -hmm. it says on my card. And you have a base damage of what? I have a base damage of two okay. already, and I have a, a passive. Uh, attack as well, mm -hmm. um, which we'll get to, whatever. Oh, okay. Do you want to roll in the dice tray there? Yep. Oh, that was unfortunate. That's all right, though. I mean, you've done each of these swords counts for one. Mm -hmm. So you do four damage on top of your on top of my two, two which is great. So uh, essentially, it has a defense of one, a physical defense of one. Okay. So you will do, if I can do math properly, <laughs> Five damage. damage. Oh, my my passive mm -hmm. attack is uh, also cripple, mm -hmm. where I assign another two damage and mm -hmm. apply a cripple token. Mm -hmm. Enemies with cripple have zero defense until after their attack. Mm -hmm. That's incredibly handy for us if we want to follow up on that. Yeah. So, so you do your, your damage that you rolled first. That's five. So that's five. Mm -hmm. So that takes it down to five. Uh -huh. yes. And then you assign two damage, and by assign damage, that means you ignore their defense entirely. So that's just two damage that you get to do. Okay, so that brings it down to three. Indeed. And okay. we cripple token on the phoenix. Okay. Now, this is, is something, not a this is a little component about the board layout I rather like. The life track, if you bring it up on the screen there, mm -hmm. the, the life track is this all around the edge, and all of the, uh, all of the different creatures seekers' life is marked out on there. Mm -hmm. So for here, there's two yeah. there's two different life trackers. So they, they both start from 32. So oh, the monsters are on this side, and the seekers are on this side. Yeah. Just to avoid any confusion. Uh, I think that's confusion. actually very helpful for a cooperative game, because it means you're all keeping an eye on things, and you're not playing around with lots of little bits and markers on, yeah, the, the, on the individual sheets. Yeah. Exactly. I, I've played a fair amount of skirmish games that get like that. Yeah. OK. That's your activation done? Yep. Um, cool. So the phoenix is down to three, but the mm -hmm. phoenix has the rebirth action. Yes. So Another reason I like this mm -hmm. particular monster. So the phoenix has I a... I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. Phoenix has a rebirth token. So if we reduce it to zero health, it will uh, rebirth, and we will have to kill it again. It goes <laughs> back up to 10 health. Uh, so it's evasive, and it heals other uh, creatures. So we might want to... Take kill it. That, take that kill it with first. fire. Yeah. Wait, no, not with fire. Not it's a phoenix. <laughs> kill it with not fire. The other one. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now it's for the creatures to activate. So I'll turn okay. over essentially the AI deck, which uh, or the instinct deck, which controls their movements. So uh, if I show it off on the close cam here. So, ooh, if I definitely <laughs> yeah, there we go. If I show it off, uh, the exalted effigy uh, activates. So. Uh, it will move towards an enemy who has the lowest magical defense. Uh, and then if there's any ties after that, the lowest HP. Uh, it has swift movement, so it can move diagonally towards its target. And it has a magical attack of range 3. It does 4 base damage, and it rolls 2 die. So it's a pretty meaty customer. Yeah, yeah that's this That's a, that's a bit this of a chappy brawler. over here, isn't it? Yep, that's that one there. So he is going to move... Uh, Three, 
three, but I don't think there's that many people in range. Who, who yeah. has the lowest uh, magic? Well, I am on two on my magic. Uh, Fanny has zero. Well, then. Well. And, and Fanny is straight ahead. So. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so uh, he's going to move three. One, two, three. He does have a range of three, so he is going to be within range of Fanny. So if you want to move. Okay. Has a range of three. He's coming for you. That's it. Uh, base of four, and then I'll roll four exalted effigy. Oh, no, two die. There we go. I was going <laughs> to give myself a huge disadvantage here. And um, so another one. Uh huh. Yeah. So it will do a total of five damage. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so Oof. where is she? She's there. She's yeah, there, if I move so her down to yep, 21. 21. It's All not right. too bad. Not too, do you know what? It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. So now uh, one of us activates. Sorry, I forgot to put an exhaust token on Elithena there to show that she has been activated. Yes. Uh, Sam, what do you think? You, well, between Zaxos, Fanny, and Berline? I think... Uh, sorry, sorry, what was this one? <laughs> uh, uh, this one here? Yep. Fanny? Fa yeah, yeah. Uh, Berline? Berline? Yeah. No, no I, I know the... So is it my activation? Is what I meant. Well, we can choose which one of our. I see. Sorry, activates. sorry, yeah. I got, I tuned out. That's <laughs> it. I was looking at the dude. You uh, were too distracted by the pretty miniatures. Yeah, yes. pretty much, pretty much. ADHD for the win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I actually think uh, Berlin should go okay. next because my dwarf can run up and throw some fire at that. Okay. Yeah, cool with that. Okay, so what range does Berlin have? Berlin has a range of two. Okay. Uh, and a movement of only three, a speed of three. Okay. So what you can do is yeah. you can move Berlin one, two, rotate, and then you'd have perfect line of sight. Exactly. All right. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, which is what I'll do. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now, I only have two dice in my pool. Okay. But Berlin is chucking about fire, so I have a good base base damage. Ah, okay. So uh, if you, I, I can't reach. So if you can roll, roll those <gasps> no, on you me. roll and then I'll place them on. I'll place okay. them on. Okay. <laughs> good. I want the satisfaction of rolling. Good. Okay. Okay. So you get another one on there. Now I have a special rule called mm -hmm. recalculations. Okay. When attacking, Berlin may re-roll one or more attack dice once. Okay. So oh, I'm going to re-roll that blank dice. Okay. I can get blank another blank. Again. Came up blank, so well done on that, Berlin. Yeah. So you do <laughs> plus one to your base damage, which is a total of? Uh, four, so five four. damage. All right, one, two, three, four, five, down yeah. to nine. And the good thing about uh, Berlin, I want to try and work Berlin up towards the front line where the monsters are more closely grouped together, because mm -hmm. when Berlin attacks someone, mm -hmm. it does damage to all adjacent enemies as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah, that's very good. splash damage. That's very pretty good. cool. Yeah. Okay, so it's on the creatures to activate. So it's going to be the Exalted Effigy again. again? Yes, okay. so it's going to target an ally with the lowest HP, uh, which will be the uh, the Phoenix. Uh, it has range of X, so it just gets to do this. Oof. Okay. Uh, heals for three. Oof. Um, luckily, so otherwise, so if, it, if all the creatures were at uh, full HP, then it would just assign damage to all Seekers, two damage. Oh. So actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, so, that's, that's doable. So the Phoenix is healed for yep. three. Thank you very much. On us to activate, which will be, oh, it's me. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend uh, running forward with Fanny. Yes, uh, she's got a range Keep of... Keep it together, Cass. She's got, <laughs> <laughs> she's got a range of five. Do we want to... I think we want to get rid of that Exalted Energy, yeah, maybe, let's... so... Uh, do, now, do we want That's, to yes. capture Are it? we capturing or killing? Now, we really should have yeah, discussed we should. this. Well, We're we haven't. We haven't. No, we haven't quite got to capturing yet because we don't want to capture whilst there are still so many enemies on the board. Mm. Because when we're capturing, we take damage. We take th the creatures thrashing around. But one of the things that we can do in an encounter, aside from slaying creatures, is capture them so that we can sell them for gold at the market. So that takes a certain amount of seekers to do. So for a level one creature there needs to be two Seekers that need to capture it. So they need to essentially sacrifice their turns and throw some chains on it. Okay. So maybe not for now, but maybe if we uh, kill some other fools mm. on this table, we might be okay for it. So I'm going to activate Fanny. And uh, yes, what I will do, because she can move quite 
a lot. She's got five movements. So if I go one, two, three, four, five. Ah, mm, you well, you have to rotate. I need to yeah. rotate. So, but what I can do is I can spend three AP is one of my abilities. So I'll show that off in close count. And what does AP mean in this case? Oh, sorry. I can spend three speed to vault over an adjacent square. Ah. So uh, that is her vault mechanic. So they, there's a little misprint on here, but I can spend three speed. Uh, to be placed on a field on the opposite side. So, so kind of like the Dragoons in Final Fantasy games. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jump. So what I will do is I'll move one, I'll spend three, that and brain. then I'll yeah. rotate. And that means that any damage I do is plus two. That is very useful. Yeah, it's not bad. So I'll roll an attack die, um, and then that will be, yeah, so I only get one attack die, I'll roll that. That is one added to my four base damage, plus the two makes Maz, which is seven. Yes, it yeah. is. I have a question. You have a question? I have a question. What's, what's your question looking on the board here? What is, uh, the fl uh, what is the SB velocity of an unladen sparrow? Yeah. Uh, see the way you jumped and rotated? Can mm -hmm. you just rotate 180 degrees? Yes, you can rotate. As much as you want? As much as you want, because it takes speed. Yes. Right, OK, dead on. Yeah. So it's not a 90 degrees rotation. No, no, no. You you can rotate 180. Ah, oh, good. Yeah, good. that's useful. All right. Yeah. OK. OK. So, so uh, that's seven damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down to two. Uh, let me place an exhaust on Fanny and exhaust on yourself. Got I see. Okay. So uh, how, how is the ex how much life is the exalted effigy on now? Two. two. Just two. Two. So it might be good. Zaxos. Hellable. Zaxos is essentially the closest one. Oh well, is the last seeker to activate, but he is nowhere near in range. So. Yeah. So he he spends the first turn going. I'm going, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Stop much. Stop running. Exactly. So now it's for the creatures, and it's going to be oh oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Exalted the, effigy? No, it's the phoenix. Oh, ah. no. So the phoenix targets the, an ally with the highest missing HP. Oh, so that would no. be the Exalted Effigy. That would be the Exalted Effigy. Heal for six. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So the, the phoenix heals for six. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, Happy four, it. five, six. Mm -hmm. And assigns four damage to self. Oh. Ah. No. One, so two, three, four. So it's, sac two. so it's sacrificial. Um, I love this monster. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix is very well designed mechanically. No, thankfully for us, the next part of the text is if the target's HP, that would be the Exalted Effigy, is now full, heal the Phoenix to full HP and draw another instant card. Ooh. Thankfully, we've done Ooh. enough damage to the Exalted Effigy, so we're in the clear. Uh, so they've just sort of swapped, so now it's in our best interest to hmm, get rid of that mm. Phoenix. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I... Catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. <laughs> yes, I, it took me a while to get that reference. I'm like, but it's a phoenix. <laughs> no, oh, no, wait, okay, it's still a bird. Uh, so last thing I can do is activate Zaxos. So he's yeah. only going to move up three because he wants to protect Ilithena there. So Zaxos has moved adjacent to Ilithena and is going to do uh, a bit of defensive work there just in case she's going to try and get attacked. The, well, she can't essentially get attacked <laughs> from this side. So yeah. now it is on f to the creature to activate uh, one last time for this round and is going to be the Phoenix. Yay! No wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. meant to cheer for that. <laughs> Usually does healing stuff, so not great for us. So most adjacent allies and then with the most missing HP, flying advance for movement. Now, the most missing HP is actually the Exalted Effigy here, but Phoenix cannot move towards it, cannot reach it. So it's going to stay where it is. Uh, if all allies have full HP, discard this card and draw again. That is not the case. Yeah. If there are at least two adjacent allies who are missing HP, assign five damage to self and heal all adjacent allies. Not the case. Otherwise, heal all allies for two. Oh! Unfortunate. So the Exalted Effigy, effigy just goes up to... Does it heal itself as well? Allies. Ah, just allies. Okay. Yeah. So well, not, then that's not too bad. I not mean, not too bad. Yeah. The the whole attack and the effigy was pretty pointless. Yeah. But other than that, Compl it's been fine. Yeah. yeah, we still done some one, damage. Two, three, four damage to that's, the effigy. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to take out these healers. Get well, rid of that phoenix. Yeah, yeah. The phoenix yeah. is low. We can probably take it out in the next. So it's going to be on my activation next, and I'm mm. going to go for that. Oh, well, it's going to be on our activation next. <laughs> so either you could do damage to actually. Well, what is your range at the moment? Hang on yeah. a second. If an, adjacent is... enemy, if an adjacent enemy has attacked. Okay, 
So I have a passive ability called teamwork. Yeah. Uh, if an adjacent enemy is attacked, make a four attack dice attack against that enemy. So Interesting. So if I move up and attack first, then they cre the creatures will activate, then you will activate, move up, and then I'll get a yes. sneaky attack, okay. and then it'll be absolutely gone. Wonderful. Let's do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So all together now, Zaxos <laughs> will move. Uh, so he will move two, and then he is going to make an attack. Now, does Zaxos block line of sight for? Oh. <gasps> that is something to take yeah. into account. Yes, you're right. You're right. So Zaxos has moved from here, one, two, but in staying there, he would block line of sight for Illithena's ranged attack. He's going to move three, and because he is still facing that direction, these front three fields can he can attack anything on there. Whew. Okay. What's up? I would have moved him to there, because then he's in range of both. Ye and she can move into there, and she's still in range of both. Uh, she doesn't want to get close. Yeah. She wants to stay oh, far no, and shoot. She, no, because she has to be adjacent to him no, for she, the attack. No, she doesn't no. have to be adjacent to him. Oh, did it not say... No, it just has to be an adjacent enemy. Oh, mm. okay. That's okay. why I'm moving out of your way. Right, okay. Okay. So, he's going to make an attack. He gets three attack die on top of his three base damage. So, what do I get? Oof. Just the one, so it's only four. Uh, however, uh, that means... Phoenix is taken down to zero. Huzzah! Rebirth token is gone away. It goes back up to max. Uh. And ten doesn't take any more damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, and the cripple token was still on it. So yes. that's why I ignored damage. Whew. But the cripple token goes away now because it's been attacked. Yes. Yes. Cripple token goes away. There we go. No, it's on the creatures. There's a lot of moving parts <laughs> yeah. in this game, and it's when it gets going, it's m keeping an eye on everything. So, creatures activate horned golem. Okay. Oh, that's oh, this he one here. Yeah, that one done anything there. He hasn't done anything. Like the Did guy you in show the Simpsons. That model? Yes. What, what guy in the Simpsons? You Not know, the. There was an old episode of the Simpsons where the the Chinese mafia. Comes to the door and he stands and he doesn't do. Oh, anything. the J Japanese man. Yeah, yeah. The oh, he hasn't yeah. done anything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he closes the door <laughs> at the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's it. Oh. Is that one here or here, Sam? It's there. The uh, bear. There. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So the horned gull. It's going to go towards the nearest enemy who has the lowest HP. Uh, so it has an advancement. Oh. I two. think that would be a uh, Berlin, whose base HP is 18. However, uh, the Horned Golem can only advance two. So it's going to go for Fanny. It's going to go for Fanny. But it cannot reach because its range is only one. So we're actually saved All there. All right, okay. We're actually saved. However, so. Fanny wants to be moving as she sort of backed in the accorder. Yeah. She's, back to, she's between two there. So we want to get her out of the road. Literally between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, we, we have think... we have a plan. Yeah, oh, yeah. We I think we stick to the plan. I think we stick to the plan. Get rid of that PLR. healer. Okay. Um, well then, am I moving at all? I'm just staying where I am. I think you could stay where you are. Yeah. Because yeah. you got the partial cover there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Don't okay. don't worry. Um, uh, Fanny and I have got this over here. <laughs> We're good. Sure, yeah. Just checking something. Uh, okay. So I will just roll then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and Five. Oh, oh that not, was pitiful. Not great. No. So, pitiful. So what's your base damage? Two. So we've just hit it for three. Three, but you still get oh, you still get cripple. I get my cripple, so, so I assign another so two. So it takes three, three. damage first. Yeah. One, two, three. No, because it has a defensive one. Ah, yes, of so it course. Only takes two. Yeah, it only takes two, but and you assign damage. I assign two damage on top mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. bringing us down to six. And we put a little cripple token back on the yeah, okay. Not ideal. But we're it, close. And it does mean you can now make, uh, Zaxos can take his reaction. I can take my reaction and I do a four attack dice. Yeah. Uh, and this does attack. mean also that he's attacking the Phoenix on uh, with zero defense again. Exactly. So we could get lucky. I do a base damage of three. I just need to roll good. So here we go. Good, good, right. <gasps> oh, we did it. We did it. Yep. So that this is a special. 
uh, attacks. So this doesn't uh, relate to Zaxos, so he doesn't have any skills that require a special die to be rolled, but it still counts for one damage. So I've rolled a total of three damage on top of my three base damage. It does. Oh. There's one that says has the special symbol beside ah, it. Ah, on special. Yes, you're right. Meme. So that would put a fatigue token. Regardless, Phoenix is dead. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Two, three, four, five, six. Removed from the board. And we Bye get birdie. a trophy from that. <laughs> what do we get? We get a feather. A feather? Fun. Yes. So we can spend this feather for uh, resources back at the encampment. But we've got a bit of work to do. Yes, uh, before we get there. So, far. so we'll place that next to our scout. Uh, or actually, do you want to place it next to the encampment? Uh, sure. Just in case. OK. Now, creatures activate. Pardon me. There we go. And now they're not going to get healed as much. Uh, yeah, exactly. We hope. The Exalted Effigy does a little bit of healing, but yeah. not so much. OK, now it's the Exalted Effigy. Uh, it'll attack the enemy with the lowest magic defense. I, well, I think that's funny again. That is, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be swift advance uh, four. Oh dear, this could be bad. Yeah. Uh, Magical attack range three. So it is going to just move here. Behind oh, her. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it can that. move backwards like that. <gasps> no, it can't. You're right. So it needs to rotate for one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three. No, two, three. Rotate four. for four, and that's its uh, that's its movement maxed out. Mm -hmm. It does. Uh, oh dear, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Five damage. Should have taken her out of there when we had the chance. <coughs> we got rid of the phoenix. Yeah, we got rid of the phoenix. But was it worth it? Was it worth? Uh, was it yeah. worth it? We'll see. Exalted effigy is now behind Fanny. There, going to do five base damage. Roll to die. Oh, so it's a little heavy. Oh, Ooh, and it's so going to do seven, seven damage. Uh, she it, has no... Is uh, that including the plus two for being behind her? It's not. That's nine. Nine, so Oh my goodness, down so nine. down from 21 to 12. Hmm, we should really look after her. Yeah. Uh, we should have moved her. No, what? we should have got rid of Phoenix, which <laughs> we did. Which we did, what? man. I... Uh, there is one positive from this. Mm -hmm. These two are now adjacent to each other, which means if Berlin attacks them, splash damage on both of them. So are you saying that we should ignore moving Fanny and just, <laughs> and let's, just attack? Let's move well, Fanny, all the, right? The, the River Guardian hasn't, hasn't activated at all yet. No. So we could risk it. Their let's, cards are obviously coming up. Let's not risk it, Sam. <laughs> let's not let her die for the sake of seeing if we can do this. Well, to be honest, it's... Uh, well, it is a it is a core of the game. It's down to Birdline and Fanny to activate. They're the last two characters. So yeah. now let, let's get Fanny out of there. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I, I I like the idea of throwing some fire into there, but Fanny's Fanny's very useful to keep around. What's your What's your speed? My speed is three. I'm a very slow little dwarf. One, two, three, and your you range is turn. Your range My is range two. is two. Oh yeah. And I, yeah. I, I, I oh, can't well, shoot. one, together. two, three. Yeah, there mm. we go there. Partial cover. But partial cover. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but that's fine, because you can go through partial cover. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? So I will activate Fanny. Yeah, go for it. Fanny is facing this direction yeah. here. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> uh, she has movement of five. One. Run away very quickly. Two. I would move her to the back, man. So I'm thinking of putting her behind cover. Where are you going to get three. her behind cover? And rotate. Mm. Yeah, so she's going to face that way and she's going to okay. make a... No, she can't attack the River Guardian no. there. So actually, she's going to move from here. I would just move her back. Mm. Go for glory. Go One, for two, it. two, rotate. Now, do you have range? <laughs> I do have range of two. So I'm going to attack the Exalted Effigy. Do it. Okay. So... I'm going to roll uh, one attack die, four base damage, guys, four base damage. Okay. So it um, is a that's one. <coughs> that's yeah, a one. That's pretty good. So it has no defense, so it does five damage to the Exalted Effigy. Brilliant. All right. Now it is down to the creature. Come on, River Guardian. I don't know if we want that, because it mm. might attack Fanny. Uh, most enemies in melee range nearest. Interesting. So that's yeah. So. In that, uh, River Guardian activates here, Zaxos is here, 
Fanny is here. So they're both within... Uh, equidistant, yeah. yeah. Equidistant, but it doesn't split between uh, most HP or least HP or anything, so we get to decide oh. who attacks. Ah. It's up to the Seekers to decide which it attacks. Well, I think Fanny can take it. Uh, <laughs> I think we should <laughs> yeah, do Zaxos. Zaxos, Zaxos, I think. Uh, so it'll be Swift Advance, one, rotate, and we'll attack. Uh, it's going to be a magical attack of range one. No base damage, but uh, four dice rolled. Oof. Okay. What's your magical defense? Probably not high for a brawler. One. So One. it's not bad. Yeah. So it's not bad. So Zaxos is more about dishing out the damage. Indeed. Although he, I think he does have some of the highest defense out of our party. Uh, he has two. Yeah. two oh, defense. well, that's actually fairly base. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So River Guardian will roll for damage. Oh, only, only get one. Okay. Only get one. And it didn't have any base damage, so it doesn't do anything. We got lucky. Excellent. We got lucky. Yeah. Excellent. So. Uh, let me see. Stop There's you and your river. Yeah. It's only you, Berlin. Okay. Berlin is going to move up. Let's see. One. Two. Now, would Berlin been able to hit the the uh, effigy mm. from there? Uh huh. You with have a range of. You two. have a range of two. Yeah. So it can go out in the arc in front. Yeah, it can. Yes. So this front three. That mm -hmm. is the your kind of range one, and any line of sight goes outward from that. Okay. So the front. So you're kind of going the five, that way. the five after that, and the seven after. And that. how yeah. would the partial cover affect this? So it's going to get plus one defense. Ah, uh, but this is a magical attack. Ah, so that would be it. Will be plus one defense regardless of whether it's physical or magical. I see. So now, what do you I do? I could step take one more step forward and negate that. How would you negate that? Because I'd be uh, go, uh, adjacent, I wouldn't be around the partial cover. Or do you just have to be beside the partial cover? Do you, so the partial cover yeah. affects both the exalted effigy, gives it plus one, gives you plus one, because you're right there if you're going to yeah. move there. But it's going to have plus one defense regardless. Oh, I yeah. see. So it has it. to be adjacent. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I'll stay where I am. Okay. And I will Do you need another one, or are you good? No, I only get two dice, unfortunately, but I have four base damage. That's good, good. yeah. Let's kill this. Nah. Uh -oh. Wait. Oh, I yes, do have recalculations when attacking. So you've got zero I may there. reroll one or more Please attack roll. dice, so Please I can reroll both. Please roll both. <laughs> you know, I did consider just rolling the one. <laughs> but... <gasps> hey! There we go. Beautiful. We've got a special like a... and a regular. So that's two damage on top of your four. So that's six damage. Six damage. Okay. It has mm, it has plus it... one defense, but so it negates one of those. Yeah, and it's... Uh, I'll, on its magic defense. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, still plus one. So it takes five damage. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's that kills the effigy done. But does that attack anything adjacent to it? Yes, it does. Two, I assign two damage to enemies adjacent to the target. So that would be two assigning two damage to the Horned Golem. Thank goodness, because it has a physical damage or a physical defense of five. Oh. So, so magical attacks yeah. are far more beneficial. Ma What's its magical defense? Mag its magical defense is zero. Ooh. But if we have a character that mm -hmm. uh, uh, can assign damage if she rolls specials, yeah, then we're then we're sucking diesel. So right. we we want but. Berlin and uh, what's your one called again? Uh, Elithina. Yeah, we need to team up to take on the Horned Golem. Yeah, that's but it. But for now, Exalted Effigy done. We get an elemental resource. Really? Okay, do you want to take that miniature? Yep, and just to show off Exalted Effigy Yeah, there. this is one of my favorite sculpts in the box. Reminds Look me of Dark that. Souls. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Who have we got? Oh, that was an exhaust token on you. Yep. Creatures, pardon me, creatures left to activate. Eight. Horned Golem. Hmm. Ah. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Fanny's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't look after him. Huh? Enemy lowest HP nearest. Yeah, no. it would be Fanny. Luckily. <laughs> luckily, she's next to partial cover. Yeah. She has plus one. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to be oh. fine, guys. She's going to be absolutely fine. Why does no one care about this woman? <laughs> uh, um, Horn Golem is going to throw a rock, so it's going to be range of X. So it's going to happen regardless of where well, she was. All I can think of now is that Batman the Animated Series. I threw a rock at him. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big rock. I'm uh, I'm getting flashbacks to Yugi with the Abridged Series. <laughs> oh my god, a giant rock. <laughs> yeah. um, so zero base damage, but it does roll five oh. dice. Plus it assigns three damage to self. 
oh, because good. of this. Good. Ah. So it's going to get a bit of. So it's just torn a chunk of rock off itself and thrown it. Pretty much, yeah. So let's pray that the dice gods uh, love us today. No, that's not bad. That's, that's not, not bad. awful. That's only two damage. Okay. Uh, and Any it, special effects? Uh, no, no. Right, so but that's... she has a physical defense oh. of two. Oh, so we're clear. We're clear. Fantastic. Okay. Plus, but she it, had the one cover anyway. She had the one cover, but it does take three, three. damage, which is great. For so us. it just hurt itself. That's and it. And Fanny tanked it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're on to. Yeah. Caught, caught the rock in her mouth and bit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny image. <laughs> you call that a rock, bro? <laughs> you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Fanny's just a gym, bro. Uh, fantastic. Well done. Right. Well done. All right. We're down to the next round. We activate first. What do we think, guys? Oh. Well, now there's only two monsters. Do we want to start looking at maybe capturing one? Ooh. Okay. I would say if we do capture, mm -hmm. we want to capture on this side. Yeah. I don't think mm -hmm. Fanny is strong enough to be trying to capture. No, not I think we slightest. try to kill the Horned Golem off. I know it's got strong defense, but it mm -hmm. doesn't have strong magic defense and burn lines already there. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the River Guardian, I think we're both pretty good uh, health-wise mm -hmm. and taking it down. I mean, it's quite high. Well, potentially... Uh, what we could do is the rock golem's pretty far away right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're bo uh, both Fanny and Berlin are fairly close to the River Guardian. We could all move in and work together to try and capture. You so only need. Turn. So we need to get it down to uh, half damage plus five, or half its health plus five, which would be do math around fourteen. So we need to do another three points of damage to the River Guardian before we can capture it. So okay. which is doable if depends who we want to capture, who we want to use to capture. I think Zaxos. Yeah. I think yes. I think we <clears throat> we capture here mm -hmm. and kill over there. And I think Ilithena is best used to attack the rock you think the horn. So? Yeah, the horn. Do you not need two seekers to capture? We do for a level one creature, we need to have two seekers capturing them, placing capture tokens down. But that's something that Berline or Fanny could do because yeah. when capturing, uh, the uh, River Guardian will only do two damage. <laughs> uh, we'll, I recommend we'll sending see. Fanny over there while Berline and uh, well, you see, this is, where, this is where I would argue mm -hmm. because Berline is needed for the Horn Golem. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. yeah exactly. You're right. So that has to be taken so off. So we lock and Berline down. Yeah. And I think if you move Fanny into a capture, she's going to keep taking damage and she's already quite low. So I would keep Alethina here and I would use Berline and Fanny over that side. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, she does have quite high physical defense. Well, yeah. two physical defense, which is good against the Horned Golem. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But high up by. Mm. But won't be able to hit as much because the Horned Golem has five defense. We should at least keep her next to the partial cover to get her that plus one. Mm. I still think we should send her after the River Guardian. Ooh. I mean, decisions, decisions. This is a, a cooperative game, mm -hmm. but you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I am the one that controls Fanny. I'd be essentially deciding what mm. Fanny does, but I would side. Uh, there's a lot of ways we can do this. Mm. I think we can. Ca I think we can capture the River Guardian quick enough. Okay. Yeah. I think, right. we do, but we do have to do damage Nobody to it first. Nobody cares about this woman. <laughs> Tell you what. Maybe that no, but I'm saying we we maybe yeah. keep mm, them at yeah. it. Tell okay. you what, send Fanny over there as well. Those three. We can three, only capture. Yeah. Sorry, can I just check? We can only capture one at this point in time because we don't have enough mm -hmm. storage space. Yes, so we can only yeah. capture for all our creatures. <laughs> so it's so it's unfortunately gonna... uh, rock go uh, horned golems don't fit in easily into overhead storage. Yeah. That's it. So, but yeah, now I I think for this turn. Because it may take two turns. If uh, Fanny and, and those three go over and focus on the river, uh, the river guardian, mm -hmm. Berlin can stay here and keep the horned golem busy. Berlin is still on uh, full health, has high defense, both magic and physical, can tie it up for at least a turn mm -hmm. and stop it from advancing in there while you're trying to capture. And it keeps... Uh, Fanning away from the more dangerous. Right, well, what we know for sure mm -hmm. is that Zaxos 
is going to attack the River Guardian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why um, don't we do it and then work out where we stand? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Zach's all smashed. Because he's going to do three base damage anyway. Yes. So he's going to he's going to get the River Guardian down to the health we need to capture it. So. Yes. Zach's <coughs> will activate. We'll rotate. Spend a movement to rotate. And uh, could he spend his movement to go around to the back? Wouldn't have enough, would he? What's his movement? Uh, his movement is three. So, so he yeah, no, he wouldn't. Though. He wouldn't. Uh, so he will rotate, stay there, and uh, will attack. He gets three, three die on this. So, who? All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. All right. So he does six. Damage, Fantastic. which is good. They're, they're, he's not gonna. The river damage isn't gonna. He, or river guardian isn't gonna heal anymore. Yeah. But yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six. But it gives us a little that bit hurts. of a safe buffer. Yeah. Z- so. Zaxos has found a way to punch water. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. So, I'll put an exhaust token on Zaxos. So right. I cannot activate this turn. And we're not down to half, half health. Plus we five have. Oh, wait, we wait, have wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. The River Guardian has a... May only be damaged by adjacent attackers, which was... Oh, adjacent attackers, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Sorry. So... Can we put a capture token down? We can, because it's down to uh, the capturable HP, which okay. is half plus five. Okay. Okay. But it wasn't before, so it would have to be the next turn. Or can you put one down for Zaxos? What we could do... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This thing could be captured for next turn, but we'd have to put... Ilithena and or Fanny or Berline. I would say go go with that. Send Fanny over there. Berline has the health to tie up the the horned golem. I, I will I will I go th- with the mob. <laughs> I think potentially Ilithena to capture on this turn. Oh okay. no, wait, sorry. We forgot to give the creatures a turn. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, who cares about that? Phoenix doesn't matter. Do ah, do we so redraw? We redraw. Yeah. River Guardian. Most enemies in melee range. Most enemies in melee range nearest. So it will uh, switch advance five, magical attack, range one, uh, zero base damage, six die. Oh. Ooh, this could is, hurt. And it is magical attack. Uh, most enemies in magical attack range damage all adjacent enemies. It's going to be, unfortunately, mm-hmm. it's going to rotate one, two, three. <laughs> oh. And it's going to attack Fanny and Berline. Oh, of course. Well, so it's going to zero base damage if if we're lucky. <laughs> Come on, so lucky. How many more lucky. dice do you need? Just one. This is awful. Just just the one. This just is awful. Just rolling six. And this is on her magical defense here, or is it both of us getting hit? Uh, both are getting hit. Oh. Um, oh no, it would be just funny actually. Oh. Great. <laughs> yeah, just Fanny. Great. Damage all just no, only Fanny is. The monsters really mm. hate Fanny. <laughs> Most enemies in melee range, which is that, but it's only adjacent, which I'm will get attacked. Don't worry about her, she'll be fine. Don't worry about her. Nick. <laughs> ah. So she takes four. Oh. Four. She has a magical defense of zero. <laughs> uh, so that would be her down. Two, three, four to eight. She's fine. Yeah, she's, she's good. It's all right. Nobody, nobody cares she's about not. her. The she's worrying good. thing is that Berlin is the healer of the party, but mm-hmm. his healing abilities haven't unlocked until later. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he heals with fire. <laughs> we'll just cauterize that, oh, that you, wound. You yeah. said, Call I, him Thoros of Mir. <laughs> I played a game of D&D with a guy who played a fire mage, who deci- and there were no healers left. I was almost dying, went, don't worry, I'll cauterize. <laughs> Critical, critical wounded my halfling and left him with a fear of fire for the rest of the game. So <laughs> that is not a great friend. No, I'm not a great no. friend. Gary, I mean, did you live though? You lived though. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good life, but you lived. <laughs> okay, we do have a decision to make here. Uh, Dova. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are we? We have three seekers to to activate: Lathena, Fanny, and Berline. Mm-hmm. Who is activating? Kill it with fire! I actually would agree that Burline might be yeah. the way to go here to capture. I know it's going to take... Okay. But I can move Elisina in. I'm happy enough to. Or we can just we can just move Fanny away, Mum. We could just bring her over here somewhere. <laughs> bring her somewhere safe. I think she's hmm. she's in a dangerous yeah. proximity. Burline is other quite monsters. safe right now. I would say get Fanny out of there. 
what, <laughs> what, okay, what if we did that, but also no. Fanny captured? No. Let's do it. So can, no, but no, she won't going... be able to run away if she captures first. No, no, she moves and then does her action, which is capturing. I see. Okay, and then a monster is going to activate. Uh-huh. And she will be there. Not necessarily. No. no. <laughs> it's unlikely that they'll deal eight damage in one turn. Um, I see, I like that. I like yeah. that. No. Because she can hang on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do Funny, you're doing no. okay. No, I'm with I'm with Cass on this. We definitely got to get her out of there. So which do she is? <laughs> I, I'm with you, Cass. This Can is not care that, about the like, cat person. What is, what is the way that we lose this game? Uh, if all seekers are dead. Oh, so we can lose one. She could die. She could. But it would make life much harder. It would. I think we just move her away. Do we? I think she just goes and has a wee rest in the corner. If a seeker goes down, do we then heal them in the encampment? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You bring them back from the dead? Well, they're just not unconscious. Yeah, oh, it's like, like Pokemon. Pokemon. Think of, yeah, think of it like Pokemon or Final Fantasy. They're just not Okay, dead. all right. Well, okay. then, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a bit less worried about it. So her. what we could do... The, the, well, the best way to get her out of there, she can't move through... No. She'd she have to, to, she'd have to, she'd have to spend three movement to get through the, that partial cover here. And she'd end and she'd up right beside right the horn golem. golem. So what we could do is use her vault to go on the other side of the river guardian and then move another one if it makes you happier. But she'd be in Zaxos's way. I would say just move her normally. So that would so, be a rotate. No, she's facing oh, yeah. this direction. One, one two, two, three, four, five. And she'd be... I'd rather rotate her so that her back's not facing anything. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think I'm okay with that. You're, you guys are okay with yeah, that? Yeah, that takes right. her a couple of steps further Four, away. Four. Five. What's her range, out of curiosity? Two. So, so, wait, so she's not got... But she can uh, full cover sitting there. Yeah, full cover. Full cover, and uh, that can only be attacked by adjacent. Yeah, ah, okay. Okay, so exhaust token on Fanny. Uh, now it's for the beasties. Phoenix, ignored. River Guardian. <laughs> See, <laughs> she's gonna get attacked. <laughs> she's coming for family, Fanny. <laughs> oh, I could have rephrased that. Um, uh, yep. Enemy with the lowest magical defense, which will be Fanny. Great. Uh, nearest. <laughs> Great. Careful, swift advance. <laughs> she's gonna die. She's gonna die. I tried. I tried to save her. Magical attack, range three. Uh, two base damage, rolled in two dice. Great. So, uh, so let me... she's got eight life. She can take it. One. So, okay. uh, River Guardian will rotate one, move two, and has a range of three. May as well use it from there. <laughs> uh, two base damage and two dice. Yep. Great. And this is magic. Yep. So she has. So uh, she has nothing. Yeah. She, she got nothing. Oh, look. <laughs> Great. Couldn't have so gone any worse. If you can just move her down to four, that'd be wonderful. So she's doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> she's doing all right. She's hanging in there. By she's a, a battler. By a thread. Uh, on us to activate. So, I would. You, w- whichever one of you wants to activate. Now, the thing is, whoever, um, if somebody lays a capture marker down on the River Guardian, it cannot take an action. But it does cause two damage to whoever has a capture token well, on it. I mm. Berlin is on full life. <clears throat> How is she's fine? I think she's on full life. Yeah, as well? I think so. Yeah, she's fine. But I would no. I don't know. I don't know about the odds of the deck. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's been quite a lot of River Guardian has come out, and mm-hmm. not a lot of Horned yeah. Golem. Mm-hmm. So I believe that these people might be safe if we want to send Berlin over to the Horned Golem yeah. to do an attack. Okay. And then do the River Guardian last. However, if both of you activate and put capture tokens down on the River Guardian. Then it then it will definitely be captured next let's turn. Get, let's get let's capture it. I'd say. Okay. Let's go for the capture. Get rid of it as quickly as possible. At least we know that this thing, in the past, has only dealt physical damage, which okay. uh, Fanny has at least some defense against. She does. She has two. Yeah. We, okay. I, I like that we're all assuming it will go for Fanny. It will. <laughs> Probably will. Okay. But one of you is going to activate. Which one? Uh, I mean, I'm don't mind. I do not mind either. I I, I can go. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Berlina activates. So uh, one, one, two. two, and then for my activation, I lay down a capture token. Okay. That's so, it. nope, not that one. Oh. It I is. saw chains. I thought. Where are the capture tokens? There they are. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So, uh, capture tokens look 
like this. Green on green, fantastic. So we'll <laughs> lay a capture token, token down on that card, and we have to wait until the character's next activation, and it'll be flipped over like that to show that the uh, creature is captured. OK. Uh, so that will go down. You will take two damage because of that. OK. okay. We, we're somehow mm. binding water here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now, if another River Guardian card comes up, you take two damage, and we have to flip another instinct card. OK. Uh -huh. OK. So we actually, we might want the yeah, one golem. Yeah, this is... yeah. Horn Golem. Yes. Yay. <gasps> How's it going to hurt, death? Fanny? It's, it's good for us, kind of. Right. Uh, self, heal for four. OK. Good. Uh, so uh, uh, it where is, is at 20, there. so uh, Back up to full health. And gain plus one defense, if now at full HP. So okay. it's a six defense. Six defense. I'm going to keep that card out. Yeah, uh, yeah just, just so, just we, so we remember. Uh -huh. All right, so not it, probably the best thing that could have happened for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's fine. Uh, so that's an example. It's going to be hard to take it out, but it's OK. Yeah, we, yeah. we, can, we, there, we can do it. Uh, yeah. So it's on Illithena. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, so I have to be beside it. You have to be beside it, or uh, it uh, has Jason. to be in your melee range, which is the front, the three tiles in front of you. Oh, right, okay, yep. So, So yeah, you just need to step out around that uh, cover. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just checking, because, yep, one, two, three, and rotate. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's a four. Okay. And I, <clears throat> oh, and then I'm capturing. So you place a capture marker. Yes. Thank you very much. Donna, you take two damage. Okay, do. There I am. There you are. OK. We are all exhausted. So yes, we are. Creatures activated. Phoenix ignored. No. Horned Golem. Yep. <gasps> this is all right. This yeah. is all right. Yeah. What's your physical defense, Sam? My physical defense is two. Oh, dear. What's your physical defense? One. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Enemy. Lowest physical defense mm -hmm. by nearest. So, that so you're not in range. Uh, it advances three. It has a range of one. So we're actually okay. So it'll yeah, advance. Yeah, so it it's, can actually it's, harder. It's going to advance towards Fanny. Yeah, of course. So it's gonna but it has to rotate as well. Yeah, so it's so. going to go one, two, three. Has, but it a, can't has a range of one. So uh, it would have been three base damage and two dice. But it can't. It can't, no. Whew. And does that mean the last one is no longer in effect? Uh, no, I believe that stays on. I believe yeah, okay. it stays on. Yeah. OK. We, all our exhaust tokens are taken off. Lift it mm -hmm. again. Lift it yep. again. Yep. OK. Whew. And do it's, we now capture that? No, you have to activate first. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. So perhaps best if you guys activate I first. I would say Berlin activate first, because can then capture and go after the gun. Or do is capturing still an action at this point? So capturing would still be an action. So you'll activate, and then you'll do a capture action. That'll flip up. I would suggest uh, Fanny doing that now. No, because we... Because we have to do it because we oh. captured. Yeah. I would suggest the first thing you do is move her back. Actually, yeah. yeah. That makes the most yeah. sense. I would move her don't. out of range. Yes, so... Uh, that means you guys might take more damage, but... That's fine. We can take it. Yeah. And uh, I have the potential of self-healing as well. One, two, three, uh, is four... Is she facing the right direction? Five, yes, yes. she's facing this direction. Oh, okay, yeah. So Sorry, you're moving sideways. Here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. We're lined up. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, all right, it's on to the creatures to activate. River Guardian uh, does two damage to see. anybody that has a capture marker on it, so cool. a pair of you. Okay. And draws another instinct card, exalted effigy, ignored. Uh, and that's it. We only draw like a max of two. What happens okay. when the instinct deck is exhausted? We uh, take the destroyed creatures out of it, and then we shuffle it back. I in. see. Right, OK. Okay. Uh, OK, on us to activate. All right. Uh, okay. Yourself or myself? I would say yourself, because I st still have the potential to run and throw fire at the. Well, you're, well, you're, you're, you're going to have to capture this. If you, oh, we if both drop. Have to? If you drop the capture, I then see. you have to do the action. I thought only game. one of us had to capture this. Nope, no, you no, both no, have okay. to. Capture. Sorry, you're capturing. Then so. I will activate and capture. Okay, cool. That gets switched around. Okay. Uh, creature. creature. River Guardian, two damage. Two damage. Two. 
Ooh, putting up a fight. Yeah, capturing can hurt. It can hurt, especially if there's another monster on the board. Mm. Uh, then we draw another one. Horned, Horned golem. golem, enemy highest HP, which would be Zaxos. Uh, but it only advances, but nearest. So one, two, three. He'll be yourself. He's gonna hit Berlin. Range one, two damage. It's not that bad. Okay. Uh, you activate it first. Who? This is this is actually quite good for us. So enemy highest HP nearest is gonna be you. It's gonna advance three. So it's going to be. Oh no, it might rotate. Mm -hmm. One. Mm, nah, it can move. Two, move. Three doesn't yeah. move. Two need two. So it's pointed that direction. Okay. Attack. Range one, so it will attack you. Uh, assign two base damage, so oh. it's going to ignore defense, but it also gets another two da uh, die. Uh, so good. roll those. Oh, no, so just it one. takes three. three. Takes three, and we are quite lucky because if it rolled a special, mm -hmm. you would have been stunned, which oh. means ignore your next yeah. action. But good it job he went first. Luckily, yeah, yeah. Captured exactly. Already, luckily, yeah. you captured first, so we're okay. On to yourself Myself, to activate. Myself, yes. I'll activate and capture, please. Uh, good job. All right. Captured. Uh, and can I my exhausted token? Because I'm very tired. Yes, your exhausted token. Yes, my there God. you go. That is River Guardian captured. It gets removed from the board. Yes. Uh, you can keep it. You, you've captured and it. And then see one of those triangular like plectrums, the one with the one? Yeah. If you put that next to our resources. Uh, Here you are. Thank you. On board. There we go. Uh, not a bad haul for, no, uh, for this one. No, all we all we have to do, guys, is <laughs> attack this horned golem. Yeah, because otherwise it'll just follow us home. Mm -hmm. I think we're all right. We can do this. Uh -huh. Speak for yourself. I'm on nine life, and Fanny's uh, on four. Well, Fanny's at the back. She's okay. Yeah. So, exalted effigy. It gets uh, discarded, and then we're going to remove all the negated. Mm -hmm. So as we're just left with the horned golem cards. Yes, because the River Guardian is out as well. So, every turn the Horned Golem is going to activate. Yep. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Does this card get shuffled back in and it keeps activating uh, if we draw it again? We, no. will, we will shuffle it back in. It's just a mark that we have. Yeah, uh, so we know that his defense. magical so defense is it, six. It, no, it's a normal defense, not magical defense. Oh, is it not? Yeah, yeah, both physical and magical. Or or plus one though. Plus one. Plus one game plus one defense. Oh if sorry, it, so it's six physical if, and it's one magical. Oh I see. If now at full HP, so And when it's not at full HP, I'm assuming that defense drops. Yeah. This is gonna be painful because it's gonna activate gonna be every a, single turn now. This is gonna be a scuffle. Ah, there yeah. we go. That's the other card. Okay. Right. We're ready for this? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. <laughs> Oh well, no, okay. they were ready for that. Enemy nearest lowest HP. It's gonna. Be, oh, you're on low HP. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, luckily, you have plus one defense because you're next to partial cover. Yeah. Did you take that into account? No, I didn't. So yes, okay. No, so, it was assigned damage last time. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Uh, it's gonna be a physical attack. Ooh. Ooh. It's uh, bad. You, yeah, yeah, not great. Okay. <laughs> uh, nearest, well, guys, it's been fun. <laughs> advances two. It doesn't need to. Uh, physical attack range one. Um, and it's going to stay there because it's next to partial cover. Uh, four base damage, two die. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's not so bad. That's it oh. doesn't assign damage, so whatever your defensive, your physical defense is, two. So take two damage. That's not bad. Oh, plus your cover though. Ah, so yes, so one. one. So that's not, useful. So not bad, not no. bad. Right. I'm on eight life. We right. have Zaxos left to. Uh, I do it, and he's a bit useless. Yeah, right he's now. a bit too um, far away. What's bit his movement away. at the moment? Three. Right, well, let's just get him into position. Uh, but I don't want to block your line of sight because your line of sight is more important than Zaxos's. So Zaxos is going is gonna to move one, yeah, two, three. That's what I would yeah. Say. yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Um, all and then oh, and then, then, then the creature yeah. activates. Surprise, surprise, it's the Horned Golem, guys. Is it? Uh, I thought the Phoenix was coming back. <laughs> Enemy. Don't even joke, man. <laughs> Lowest HP, nearest. It's going to be yourself again, Sam. Oof. Attack range X, assign uh, base damage zero. Right. Okay. How many dice? Uh, five. But oh. assigns, and it's assigned. assigns three damage to itself. Okay. So it's the, Good. It's the tearing a chunk out of itself attack. Yeah. Right. So that's actually quite lucky for us. I say lucky. Uh, f six. Six die. Is it five? Yeah, no, you... sorry, it was six. Right. It was six because it's level two. Ah. Ouch. Oh! So it is 
Somewhat painful. Yeah. Somewhat painful. It is right. So is a five, and it right. signs damage. So it ignores how everything. Much, so how much in total? Five. Okay. Forget Fanny, save me. <laughs> uh, we need to. He takes three out of himself, though. He does. One, two, three. I'll remove this token here. And th this is a problem because Berlin is one of the ones who can straight up hurt it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. So we're going to need to move you out of the yeah, way. Yeah, we are going to Only move has you three back. movements. <laughs> okay. Oh, we, I so. need people to get in the way. So all our exhaust tokens. Well, I'll just keep it on the side. Yeah, 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 sure. Um, um, right. First thing, move Berlin. Move Berlin. But I've only got two range, so if I move out of the way, I won't be able to hurt it. I think that's at this point, yeah. like, because it's mm. going to constantly attack mm -hmm. and it's going to always hit yeah. the someone with the lowest so HP. So our two strongest fighters at the moment are Ilithena and yeah. Saxos. Saxos won't be able to do much due to its high defense, but yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, Elithena can't do much. Has the assign and the cripple. So oh, uh, actually, cripple, it's time yes. for them to do their double Yeah, team. so we need to move Berline first, would be my my yeah. thoughts on it, because otherwise he's going to die mm -hmm. as soon as the creature activates next turn. Okay, yeah. but he only has a movement of three. Three, so yeah. And if he's and he's pointing this direction... He's not, he's he putting... Hit, at yes, so, wait, so did it, it's took me, it, it hit me in the back arc last time, so should I have taken an extra point of damage? Yes. Should have taken an extra two. An I, extra two? An extra two I, think extra you're, one. I think you're dead, son. I think he's I, on one. I'm on one. I'm hanging in oh, there. Okay, okay. Right. He's facing me. Mm -hmm. I'm running so, away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm activating I'm first, guys. Bye. We move him. One, two, three. Yeah. That's as far as we can get him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, can move. Yeah. Side. Oh, no, you can't no, move diagonally. One, one, two, three. three. No, bag is still pointing. Yeah. That's the only thing. So. Let's hope so he goes you, for Zaxxas. But his range isn't great, the river golem, so, or the horn golem. We can't move so. as far, but, well, the, the the throwing attack is gone at least, yeah. so it's on him to activate it's, it. It's at the point where you're you're card counting, you're working out yeah, what yeah. It, it's got in there. I like that element, though. Yeah, it's a I, good element. I quite enjoy I, that. I've, I've found it in games deck. before, oh, it's one of my right. favorites. We're good. Highest HP. Nice. <gasps> so it's going to be Zaxxas. Zaxxas. Zaxxas hasn't taken any damage right now, so... It's going to be Zaxos, uh, advance three, uh, range one, assign two damage to so cover doesn't count uh, on special stun. Now that sucks. So, uh, so one, two, turn. Turn. Yeah. Okay. Assign two. Uh, sorry, three die. Three. Okay. No stun, which is good. Okay. It is assigning four damage, though. Okay. I mean, that's all right. Yeah. Because you're Zaxos, like at 26. Zaxos can take it. Right. Now, what's decent here now, he doesn't have that plus one defense. So he's down to five physical defense, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I just realized I was standing beside parcel cover. So. No, because it was a sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a sign. We did this. <laughs> yep. So uh, if you attack, I attack also automatically. OK. So, regard so maybe you attack first. Well, no, do you want to attack, then I attack, and you attack as a follow-up? Yeah, yeah. Well, Definitely it Zaxos makes no should attack which way first. around, I suppose. I'm just thinking if he moves, and because like, he because Zaxos doesn't have a lot of okay, movement. That's okay, what, that's what, that's okay. That's all I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, all right, well, then I will I will straight up attack. Mm -hmm. How many dice do you have? Do you get? I get five dice. Okay. Um, and I have a base damage of two. <gasps> this makes it even And better, I have cripple. Because it'll cripple, and it'll go down to zero. Yeah. Zero defense. Exactly. Oh. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh. Oh. So oh, only one special. Only yeah. one special, but it's still crippled. So that's four plus two. Right now, hold on till we do this right. Mm -hmm. So it's four plus two, which is six, mm -hmm. but negated by his defense. So it does one damage to okay, him. Okay. Well, that's not bad. That's no, oh oh it's no it's here. You're oh, sorry, me. I'm moving me. Yeah. Let's not cripple me. No. <laughs> okay. But now you do cripple. But now I do cripple. Which is two. And you're, yes. You assign two I damage. I assign two damage. Mm -hmm. I place this mm -hmm. on no, here. there. Okay. Um, and now, I now automatic, you can go. Uh, I automatically attack with four die. It has zero, uh, zero defense. So, uh, yes. Oh. Not ideal, not ideal. Okay. Uh, but on special. I was going to say, what's your special? Uh, I put a fatigue on. Crippled, it's fatigued, and it takes uh, five damage. Okay. 
Yeah, four, five. Uh, okay. Now, does cripple come off it? When, yes. When it makes an attack? No, until after well, they are attacked. Are you Enemies with the rule cripple book have there? zero defense until after they are attacked. Mm -hmm. you're, you're checking the rule book there? I am just checking the rule book just to be sure about yeah. fatigue. You're not checking Facebook. I'm not checking <laughs> Facebook, definitely not, no. Uh, just checking fatigue, which says the target has minus two speed on their next activation. Nice. So that's good. It's not going to come after Berlin then. It's going okay. to have trouble coming after Berlin. Well, it's kind so, of blocked in anyway. Yeah. We need to turn and. It, we, yeah, we need it. to turn. So it's actually good where it is. Yeah. So and the good thing is Berlin has two range, so I can actually start shooting from oh, there. Exhaust tokens. So that was Zaxos just making a bonus attack. It now attacks. Uh, self. <laughs> it's healing, isn't it? It is healing for four, five. Ah. Gain one defense if now at full HP. It is not. One, Thank two, goodness. three, four, five. Okay. okay. This is a brawl. Yeah. Zaxos will attack. Okay. Zaxos needs to turn. Oh, yes, Zaxos does need to turn. All right. I wonder. Oh. Hmm. Could Zaxos attack when he did his. when you rolled the four, if he was facing the other direction? <gasps> no. Could oh, not no. have. Oh, no. Oh, no. So it's going to be going oh, up. Oh, so. To... And it will be gaining. Oh, no, but I'm. Why was Zaxos turned that direction? Oh yes, because he had the yeah. yeah so it's gonna be forwards. so it's gonna be up to its max. So if we so, <laughs> so that does mean it does gain an it extra point of damage. Plus defense. one plus one defense. Isn't it good that I pointed that out? Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, so helpful. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Um, so Zaxos will make an attack anywhere, uh, anyway, in yeah. case it can still fatigue. Oh. Yeah. So if it makes if Zaxos makes a special. So it doesn't have the fatigue it on it right now. It doesn't have the fatigue token at the moment. Uh, no, because it didn't. Because yeah. it couldn't have attacked. Uh, it did activate. Yeah. So uh, yeah. there we go. And it's three. Come on, Zaxos. Yes. For so. a magical def or defense, is it six? Yeah. This yeah. thing's going to kill so us. So essentially, we're just yeah. rolling for. Yeah. So that's. That's okay. No, it's not going to do any damage because it's not going to get through the defense, but it is going to fatigue it, which is good for us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry, at least we got that. What does fatigue do again? Fatigue uh, lowers, lowers the speed, speed by, by two. two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so the cripple token goes away. Uh, it's exhausted. Oh, funny. Uh, after the horned golem. So it's going to be uh, enemy, lowest physical defense. Mm, which would be, would be funny. Can't reach. Uh, no, Fanny has a high physical defense. Oh, it oh, does, sorry. yes. Um, uh, I have one. one. Yeah, that would be, would be you. All right. Uh, low physical defense, at advanced three, physical attack. It's, I mean, not assigning damage, which is good. Okay. So, uh, it will be range one, three base damage, and uh, three die is going to roll. Oh. Oh. Okay, so. so attack, but it's not assigning it, so you will take off your physical defense. Okay, so that's one. So still five, though. You're Where to? 11. Okay. Right. We're all sitting around well, we down got problems, here. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So that instinct. We've got 99 problems, and the horn golem is a lot, all of them. And it keeps on healing, so we're going to need to. Yeah. Well, Barline can attack from where he is, well, and but he's, pretty ex safe. he's exhausted, though. Well, it's. Yes, uh, but, yeah, it's Fanny's uh, turn. Oh, it's Fanny still to go. Yeah. yeah. And she's the only one left to activate. And okay. she can't. Do a whole lot. I think at this point, Come can, on, we, Kathleen. can we move her at all? We could move her to here so that she has some effect. But again, it's it's physical damage. So I would rather move her uh, back behind. Behind cover, <laughs> yeah. There's just going to be Fanny and Berlin fighting for the space behind the, <laughs> behind the full cover. <laughs> <laughs> One Rotate of us was going to say it. Rotate. It means, it means different things in America yeah, than it means in the UK. So I think I'm all right. Yeah. In the UK, I'm vulgar. Here I'm in America, I'm OK. Here, here, are we in America now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in America. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be the same attack as last time. On you. Oh, OK. Oh. So it's going to roll three. Oh, dear. No. Oh. All right. So five. So move me down to six. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to the single digits. We're going to lose. <laughs> we may do. We yeah. may not make it to an incumbent phase, but 
we will take this thing down on the way. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Right. Okay. We're all exhausted. We're all done. We're all, Sorry. We're all, we're all done. going back. We're all going back. It's a new round. Take your exhaust yep. off. Yep. Ila finish should activate. All right. Okay. So. We can uh, do this. There's no point in me moving or doing anything else. So we can do this. You could move and draw away from that partial cover. So if you move back one. Mm. Move back. Move back one. Right. So rotate. One, two, two. three. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 What's my range? Three. I can move back on more. Oh, uh, however, that was blocking. Yeah, that him was from protecting Bella. But if no, if everyone's in single digits right now. Yeah. I yeah. would almost move her back one more again. And my range will still cover her. Why would you move her back one more? Just so. Just for the extra just space. Just to keep it. Yeah. If you I, I'm going to move space, Berlin. Use it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, right. Well, sorry, I'll take that again then. Mm -hmm. That's one, mm -hmm. two, three. Four. Okay. That's my movement. Okay. Okay. You're gonna roll. Come on. Oh. Beautiful. Doesn't assign doesn't, damage though. Doesn't assign. That's the thing. That's, we, well, that's the thing we needed. It's okay though. Right. So that's five plus my base damage is seven. It's at six. Mm -hmm. So that's I thought it was a damage. At seven. No. Nope. It's uh, partial, partial cover. So actually. Uh, it's a base damage. Yeah, it, oh. it is seven. So you don't do any damage. Okay. But you cripple. But I cripple and I assign two damage. Oh, cripple is useful. Cripple is very useful. I could do with my special activate. Yeah. Yes, you could. I bet you roll that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, because you've been so much use. Saxos. Saxos? That's all right. Saxos. Hey, at Zaxos. Least I, at least I haven't been getting hit. Um, <laughs> oh, but Zaxos is going to do his bonus action because... Yes. He uh, is facing the right direction this time. He's facing yeah. the right direction this time. Yeah. Instead of just like hitting bushes there's, and hedges. Th this whole time they've all been shouting, Zaxos, turn if around! Turn. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Look left! Bad hedge! No, no. your other left. <laughs> all right. Uh, he's going to make his two what? on his base, three, that's five. That's nothing to sniff at. Five. Yeah. Okay. All right. That, that's um, even with the uh, damage? It the reduction. is. Uh, yes, because it's completely all oh, the yeah, damages because it's crippled. Uh, so. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Right. Uh, I, right. Oh, no, is it the is it the horn golems go next? It is, yes. yes. So, um... On the cri is it when the creature gets attacked, the cripple goes off? Could you just read yeah. that? Uh, enemies with cripple have zero defense mm. until after they are attacked. Yes, okay, so it's been attacked. So give me that. Give yeah. you that. And so it's a nice little in tandem with oh, the yes. Trail. Golem goes, and if Berlin survives this turn, I would suggest Berlin goes. It's about to heal. It's about to heal. I give up. Oh. It's about to heal for four. <laughs> so it's about to heal for five. One, two, three, four, five. But it's only on 18. Yeah, it's it doesn't go up defense-wise. We have hit it for yeah. two. <laughs> it's been like five rounds. Okay. Oh, this thing uh, will die. Right, Burline. Do some damage. Yeah. Burline goes, boop. Yes, two. good Perfect. job, good job. And then, now it, it does give it plus one defense. But, uh, yes, yeah. yes, but it doesn't, it's, it's only one. Now, the reason I specifically want to do this is, not only do I have the chance of, a sign, uh, of dealing a bit of damage, if my special activates, mm -hmm. I have an ability called Holy Mist, and on each special, I heal self for two. Okay. Right, cool. that's good. Yeah. That's Has, good. Hasn't happened yet, because the only time I've rolled a special, I was on full health. Yeah, yeah. okay. Let's see how it goes. I got yes. a special. Oh my goodness, you got a special, and the, the that still counts for damage as well. Yeah. yeah. So what total damage do you do? I'd be tempted to use my recalculation to try and re-roll that sword for a special I th but i think we want the damage yeah let's yeah. take the damage okay so, i i raise up to the lofty heights of three life excellent yeah. okay but what damage do you do <laughs> oh that's not important uh <laughs> i i do four base so five damage and it's plus, magic plus yeah plus two uh oh, yes. the special kind six so six minus six. it's one plus one defense no yeah but partial cover yes and doesn't it get didn't it get another bonus to its defense no to it its magic defense no, no. okay no. so it's still of five Okay. Yeah. This is what we needed Berline to be doing this whole time, yes. but unfortunately... Unfortunately, it, he took too much damage yeah. with the, the mm -hmm. health. Okay. Right. Okay. Enemy. Lowest HP. Nearest. That's Berline. Yep. Uh -huh. Range X. 
Die, oh. dwarf! It assigns three damage to self. It's okay. Berline's still dead. Berline's uh, gonna die here. But it has zero base damage. So if we get lucky with the die... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're grasping and throwing uh, it. If we get lucky uh, with the die, you're okay. I'll put your exhausted uh, on as well. I um, don't think it'll need the exhausted yet. So fine. let's just yeah, roll fine. the uh, six die. Let's not worry. No, we're good. This is fine. I think it's gonna be grand, guys. Yeah. Do you know what? Not sure a problem. Do you know, guys, I'm rolling, so it's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh! Oh no! No, no that's, that's still that's three. So bad. Yeah, you're dead. Oh no! Yeah. Puzzle cover. Puzzle cover. <gasps> no, it's a sign damage. Oh. Is it a sign? A sign. Oh yeah. Well. It takes three damage. One, two, three. Great. Berline is dying. <laughs> right. Show, show does that he, on. Does he remove? Is he gone? <laughs> Uh, he is removed from the board. No, I think I'll just leave him there. We can just leave him there. Just so you all just, see what you let happen. Let's just leave him. Let's get him off the board because we can still use that as part of cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're ruthless. Just, just kick kick your wounded companion out of the way. Get out of the way, Berlin. We need this. I kicked you into the river. You're floating downstream. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Let us know when you reach the encampment. <laughs> exactly. Ow. I was going to say it could have been worse, but it actually couldn't have been worse because he did. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Always All right. look on the bright well. side of death. <laughs> All okay. right. Who's going? Uh, you two are exhausted. Yeah. So, well, well you're, he dead. you're dead. Uh, it's, I'm it's, very exhausted. It's well, be, I'm unconscious. I would rather get Zaxos activated so that uh, he could potentially put a fatigue on. Yes, please. That would be great. Mm hmm. So he's not going to move. No. Uh, <laughs> Just standing beside him this whole time. Hmm. What? I want to. Uh, no, it's. Well, I, I, actually, you know what? I'm going to get in his way. Uh, I want to get in his way so that he doesn't come after you. No, because I'm still in range. Mm. And I have. You're exhausted? It, so yeah, I know, but it's yeah, gonna, it doesn't matter so much about. But getting you're going to be exhausted, way. and then you can't move. Yeah, I would rather move in his way so he can't get you because you're going to be one of the next targets. So if we take that off, yeah. I don't think because he is. If you manage to fatigue him, mm -hmm. he's going to be minus two anyway. If I manage to fatigue him, that's the problem. So if he's not fatigued, he's going to make a beeline straight for you. I don't need no protection. <laughs> okay, I'm a strong, independent woman. You're, I don't need no you barbarian. You're also on six health. I might need some protection. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little bit of protection. So. Tiny little bit. If Zactos moves just in front, he would have to move around. And it would it essentially right. target Zactos. Right, okay. And he has the HP. Okay. So Zactos is going to move one, two, rotate. Yeah, and pretty much this is all down to you now as the main one who can hurt it. That's True. kind of my issue. But I can't hurt. Uh, I'd have to roll perfect to do one damage. No, no. It has five defense. I have stronger defense or attack than you. I know, but you can move on your next turn. I'm trying to protect you for the rest of his turns. All right, all right. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm... So, Go yeah, for I'm, it. Go uh, for it. We'll just, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Does two. Nothing. Okay. So, uh, Zaxos exhausted. On the horn, Golem. Enemy nearest lowest HP. Advance three. Uh, one, two. Yeah, it can still three. It can uh, still take. It's worth it. It was worth it. Uh, just, just kill me, <laughs> guys. I I really think we're facing a total party kill here. No, because it's going no. to it's going to assign no four base damage. Oh, oh. I'm dead. I'm That's, dead. No, you're on six right now. I know, but how many dice is it rolling? Two. Yeah, I'm dead. So if it rolls two attacks, you're dead. Okay, and at that point, it's almost worth point. it just running away and going to the encampment. Not possible. Ah. Oh. Oh no! Dead. Oh. Dead. So here you are. Ilthina is dead. And this just leaves your two characters. It does. I see what he did here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So funny, Agvitz. Uh, is in range. Well, it's just. All you can do it. now is just wail on just, it as much yeah, as possible. Yeah, as much as you can. Yep, yeah, that's all I can do. Um, is all I can do is fatigue it. Um, yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, uh, we, we've ended up back at the encampment yeah, over yeah. here. If you just, just, we'll just yeah, go just hang there, out there, the we're hanging out by the fire. Yeah. How uh, are you guys doing? Oh, four yeah. damage plus one. 
That's Zach's sauce. Do what a prick, right? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing for funny. It will move I mean highest HP. Oh guys, we're lucky highest HP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh we're lucky, yeah. Nearest advance three. Range one assigned two damage. It's gonna do a back attack. Um range one assigned uh three. If it rolls a special, then Zaxos is stunned this round, so <laughs> Yay! Hey guys, it rolled a special! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. wow. When things go wrong, they go wrong. Uh. When things go wrong, you know I'm in the party. So, Zaxos can't activate next turn. So, it's just funny that can activate next turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so. So glad we kept her alive. <laughs> yeah, all that effort. Yep. <laughs> I never thought she'd be the last one standing. Yeah. <laughs> I think Zaxos is going to be the last one standing. That was, uh, how much damage? That was four damage. One, oh. two, three, four. Um, it's fine, don't even worry about yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, I don't captured think we captured something. Physically. We did. We, we did. captured. We, we, we captured it and we took it home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually don't think we can win. I'd say just turn around right now because you're not going to get behind him this turn. Mm -hmm. But if he does turn around and smack Fanny, then you've got him in the back. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, please continue with what you were saying. <laughs> no! And you know what, guys? She did. Assign four damage. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Right, Fanny's and gone. she's on four, she's exactly. Gone. Fanny is gone. She's heading back to the camp. TVT three on special stun guys. <laughs> no so, special. How so much? Many? Four damage. Yeah, you're down to two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on me. <laughs> guys, I'll just uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Just to his side. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, <laughs> just give it a gun. Oh, I do nothing. No damage. No damage. No. Oh dear. Um. Bye. Potentially yes, potentially yes. He's going to turn, he's going to do three base damage, plus he's going to roll three die. And if he gets, well, yeah, my physical defense would take into account here. Oh, he kills me. Oh, yeah. so, gone. Total player, party total, kill. total party kill, TPK, guys. You put up such a good fight. Yeah, fight. well I done there. I so proud of your endurance, but... Yeah. Like, also, come, could you not try a bit more? <laughs> come, come join us at the campfire. Come on. Join us at the campfire. Yeah. So, so us, yeah, maybe now is a good time mm -hmm. for us to take a break, mm -hmm. find out what happens in the case of t uh, total party kill, mm -hmm. and then come back and do the encampment phase. Okay, yeah. So we'll take a quick break. We will be back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, we're back after a bit of a horrendous yeah. encounter for us all. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have nightmares about that horned golem. Oh god, yeah, yeah, too much. Yeah, it was losing you early because you yes. did a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, in, like in the only attack you you could make on it. So. Yeah, Berlin was the one. Uh, I should have been attacking the Horn Golem earlier on, mm. getting that damage on it. I don't know. I think we were maybe right to pick off the healers because he, that yeah. would have made it so much yeah, more difficult. Yeah. But uh, it was just a. Uh, it was we just didn't expect it to. Yeah, to yeah, go we that didn't way, expect. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's okay. What we'll do instead, usually in a team, a total player kill, 
uh, we would have to restart the campaign from zero. It doesn't. <laughs> well, let's do that again. Come on, reset. <laughs> it doesn't happen as much as you'd think. Uh, we just had a bit. We, <laughs> We're just not very good. We <laughs> just had a run of bad luck. We had a run of bad luck is what we had. Uh, but we are going to show off the encampment phase, which follows the encounter. So uh, instead of us completely dying, we ran with our tails between our legs, and we came to our encampment. Yeah. So in this, we have three buildings, uh, which can do a variety of effects. So just and we have a couple workers. You can see all our adventurers there on the art. Yep. Uh, I do like the art of this guy. Holding yeah, their heads funny. in their hands yeah. uh, <laughs> at what just happened. Uh, so we have the barracks, which can uh, hold one creature and uh, a certain amount of workers. We have the Temple of Vil off to this side, which can heal our characters. We can, uh, we also have the Seeker's Den, or the, yeah, the Scouting Den, so we can draw another scout card. Now, what happens in the incumbent phase is we, each Seeker gets five actions each to do a variety of things. Now, this is the early, early on uh, first season, so there's not a lot we can do, but uh, we can uh, maybe spend a couple actions doing a couple things. So. What are you guys thinking of doing? Healing? Healing. Well, the mm -hmm. barracks also heals all seekers for, we're level one, yes? Mm -hmm, yeah. Heals all seekers for five after okay. each encounter. So we automatically go up that five. Yeah, we automatically go up that five. That's yeah. fine. So, so that's, we all, exist again, we all which is nice. On five. That's fine. Uh, cool. Uh, no, we're can... missing, I'm missing one. I'm missing Fanny. Uh... She was useless. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't deserve to heal. Oh well, no, so here she is. There we go. Okay. So uh, so now we can take actions individually. There is, we can travel to the Silverstrem market and mm -hmm. sell our creature for one gold. Okay. Yeah. I like um, that we managed to escape from the rock golem while still carrying the river guardian on one it. shoulder. Two of you just dragged it <laughs> yeah, off. That yeah, that was it. Two of you just dragged it off. So um, the, you, ha you would have to spend three of your seeker actions to do that. Okay. So you'd only have like two actions left to maybe heal. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna send Fanny and Zaxos to the Silverstrem market. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take the creature, uh, sell it for one gold, and that'll be one gold. Oh, thank you very much. And could you uh, pass the worker cards? These ones here. These ones? Yep, all of them. Yeah. What oh, can gold just be used okay. for? So gold can be used for hiring workers, which we're about to do. Yeah. Uh, it can also be used to purchase building materials, so we can build a new building. Uh, for two gold, so we only have one at the minute. And uh, it can also be used for upgrading buildings, again, for two gold. So mm, yeah. we need we would need to have maybe yeah. gone into season two, captured another creature to get a second We gold. definitely need to start doing that if we uh, as we continue a campaign, because new buildings also unlock new abilities for yeah. our heroes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'll shuffle the worker cards. We will draw two, and then we will see who we get. OK, we've got the traitor. Uh, and the apprentice. So the trader, purchasing buildings and upgrading to tier two costs one for your gold. The work, however, this worker costs two. So we can't actually afford the trader, but we have the apprentice. Choose one ingredient when crafting. That ingredient is not needed. So ah. we're going to go with the apprentice. If you want to yeah. pop him, yeah, uh, he'll join our monster hunter down here. Uh huh. And so. Uh, if we were crafting, we need the workshop building, which is this one here, and we also need recipes from workers. So we would need to have the woodsman uh, and a couple other. Yeah, if I look characters. at the, um, the the monster hunter, if mm -hmm. you you see there, they give us the recipe for the seeker's manual, I believe. Ah, perfect. Okay, so it requires one organ, one blood, and. Uh, one eyeball, I think that eyeball. is. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those. We don't have any of those. We <laughs> have an element, uh, and element, a feather. and a feather. Yeah. Uh, so if we'd gotten another worker, we could have made something else. So that's that. Um, that's my three actions for uh, Fanny and Zaxos. Do you guys, whilst I'm doing that, are you guys going to heal the Temple of Vil? I think I, I need to heal. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. That would be important. So. Uh, You're going to spend an action? Yes. Uh -huh, to heal the heal temple. If you want to move me over to the temple. Yep. Okay. Um, oh. And then, Sam, since I can't reach, if you don't mind putting me up by two, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, let's see. Where are you. There you are. Mm -hmm. One, and two. And I might actually do that twice. Twice? Uh, so, all the, so all the actions have to be spent at the same. So the first action has to be spent at the same time. So it's so ah. because you're there, Sam can heal there. 
Ah, uh, okay, okay. So it's only one slot. So you would have to move out and then. So Sam, you might do nothing this turn. Cast moves out. You get to heal. So we're on this kind of segment yeah. one. Yeah. What uh, would you do for your next one? Do you think? Because I would uh, like to heal if you don't mind. No, I'm staying here. <laughs> so <laughs> it's nice in this temple. Well, maybe if you want to. Well, if you want to heal on your second action, uh, yeah. and then because yeah. you have a self healing ability. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So you heal for another two. Yep, yeah, that's okay. good. So, so do you want to move me up the nine? Okay. okay. Uh, we're super ready to take on more yeah, monsters yeah, at nine totally, HP. Totally. Yeah, um, and then you'll again you'll skip a third action. On your third action, you'll move out of the temple. Yeah. Sam will move in. Where will you move to? Just, just to the center. To the, go just back to the, the campfire. Yeah. Because we don't ha- we don't have say the workshop uh, yet that we can uh, do other things. So you'll heal for two then, Sam. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. At that point, we have come back and. Yep. Uh, Did you bring us anything? We brought you a gold. No, we didn't. We didn't bring you gold. We got a shiny gold, guys, but we used it to bring this apprentice back. (laughs) Yay! Okay. I asked you to bring muffins, damn it. (laughs) Uh, Sorry, I ate them on the way. Ah. way. Uh, So uh, we're on our fourth actions, but two people have to uh, spend two actions. Two seekers have to spend two actions to scout. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say the ones with eyes Maybe yourself and Zaxosk. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will leave Fanny and yourself time to heal. Okay. So, uh, if on the fourth action you want to heal for another two? Yeah. Well, I've. I, I seem to have picked up the wrong thing. Oh, okay, for yeah. yeah. So you, two. you heal for another two, and then on fifth activation, you move out and Fanny heals for two. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's left to do is during that time, Zaxos and Ilithena will uh, pick up three scouting cards and pick out the next one. That will determine the next encounter. So this is essentially uh, between seasons, essentially. Yeah. This yeah. Scouting. So you're, you, you're, setting, you're setting out looking for the next uh, big game for us to find. Pretty much. So <laughs> and get destroyed by and be, completely. Yeah. Do, uh, not, do not find us another horned golem. <laughs> no, what you can do is you can refuse to scout this turn and leave your settlement, settlement derelict, but that has Massive, massive yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, repercussions, or can have massive repercussions. So, uh, we'll maybe do the scout, scouting action. So we'll draw three because we have the seekers den, okay. and we would pick one of those. So we have Icarat's retreat. We would be against a lava fiend, and on activation we assign one damage to self. So maybe not that. Maybe one. not that mm. thing. Maybe not that one. We have the wicked gulch. Uh, all seekers have minus one healing. Healing may not be less than zero, and we would be against a demon wretch. So maybe that one or Goliath, uh, Phoenix level two, and uh, on the on the Phoenix's activation, all seekers would take one damage. So hey, let's just take that maybe, one. Maybe out. just wicked gold. Yeah, nice wicked this gold. Time yeah. <laughs> so I hear I, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Player. Yeah, I like the postcard. Yeah, it's, I so, mean, yeah, wonderful nightclubs. Good, good social, social scene. Again, good. again, it's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good so nightlife. We would set up for the next round, but we're just going to leave it there because we've got quite a beating. We're not quite ready to go, yeah. take on the next encounter. We said we were going to do two, but we were showing the game off and uh, showing how the encounters work and the and the encampment phase. But that'll be us for today. What do you guys think? I really enjoyed it. This is this is my first skirmish game. Yeah, yeah, it's a hybrid um, skirmish. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's a, like a skirmish board game. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was it was fun. I don't like all the deaths that I encountered. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think if I played mm. with better people, uh, I might. <laughs> I might win. Sam, letting your wizards die first. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. I mean, yeah. I just let the whole party die. I also uh, personally blame Fanny, but you know, yeah, 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 we, all, we all blame Fanny. We all blame really, Fanny. really was her fault. Yeah. So much. Um, no, it was fun. It was fun. What do you think? It's a very pretty game. I love the art style of this. Uh, there are, uh, and it has a lot of mechanics I really like in these kind of games. I love base building. Yes, yeah. base building as a mechanic I really, uh, I really enjoy in games, as it gives you a sense of uh, development mm-hmm. and that you are establishing your outpost here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is yours. Uh, I think there's some elements of it that could definitely use a bit of polishing mm-hmm. uh, at this mm-hmm. stage. It, as, as we said, this is a prototype. Yep. So there's still certain things to go back into the rules, certain uh, certain things need to be changed and reworded. Uh, but the, yeah, the developers have said that. And it yeah. is, uh, yeah, it's still in, in its prototype phase. 
but the miniatures are they're, they're beautiful yeah. the miniatures are excellent quite I would love us, to see more quite of a few them. of us have our eyes on the phoenix it's mine yeah well the, it's there mine. we go yeah. my bird yeah. <laughs> your bird but for now Horned Gollum reigns supreme. Congratulations, Horned Gollum. Yeah. Uh, we will leave it there, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of uh, of uh, Wild <laughs> Our Ascent. pitiful show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't, yeah. Wasn't our best tactical uh, game, but we'll come back. Bigger and braver. Bigger, braver, stronger. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll leave it there. Leave your comments down below. We'll see you again next time. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.